today I'm really excited. I've got someone really special who came to see me today. She's a runner-up of the Britain Next Top Models Victoria. So Victoria is absolutely beautiful um, and but what she would like to have is a little bit more lips volume and definition. So she previously had some lip fillers done a couple of times and the filler has broken down and she really would like to have a little bit of a top up. So I assess her lips, absolutely beautiful shape. What I'm going to do to make sure she's going to have a natural flawless results is to keep the shape keep the anatomy that she has, respect that, and just enhancing the volume, so injecting the fillers in a way where we just increase the volume of the upper and lower lips. I'm also gonna give a little bit of a lift of the cupid bow, just a bit more definition as she uh, requested, uh, but in a very, very natural way. I'm gonna avoid completely to inject in the cupid bow, which is the triangle on the upper lip, which is always a giveaway in case it's injected of a lip filler done on the, on, on the lips, so it just, it's not nice. It just looks very uh, unnatural and fake. So I'm gonna stay away from the area and just go through a candle, I think, uh, just to give it more volume. So yeah, let's do it. So she's been numbed already. I use some really strong topical numbing cream. Um, I personally, despite being a dentist, I do not believe in numbing the lips with injections because what happens, the lidocaine injected does change the shape of the lips. So it does relax the soft tissues and therefore just changes the, the anatomy and the shape. So these creams, it's very, very effective. It's absolutely enough to have a really comfortable treatment. So she had enough for the last, last 10, 15 minutes, which again, is perfect timing. And we're gonna go straight into it. I don't know if my mouth is open or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really strong. People are like, oh, are you, are you sure the cream is enough? I'm like, yes, it works really well. The secret for natural looking lips is just to respect the shape and the anatomy. So, because the lips don't forgive, even if you inject a tiny amount in the wrong areas or in the wrong tissue plane that it shows, and once the shape is changed or altered, then it's basically impossible to go back to where it was. So, as you can see, she's got a beautiful lip, so she's, she's got a really nice cupid bow. Um, I guess something has perhaps been injected already into the cupid bows before, but what I want to do today is just lifting just the apex of the cupid bow. So the cupid bow is basically this triangle here. I'm just gonna draw for you to see. So anything injected in this area here, for me it's a no-go because from the side it will just make it look really unnatural and fake. That what gives you the kind of like ducky or projecting top lip, which is always a giveaway or something that has been done. So if you want people to know, absolutely fine, but if you probably watch my videos, if you come to see me as a client, probably want to have more subtle results, which is all I'm about. So for me, there's nothing will be injected here. I'm just gonna try to lift the cupid bow by injecting in the filtrum of her lips, just to lift it slightly, uh, which will give an illusion of reducing the length of this area here, which is aesthetically very pleasing. Then, in terms of uh, technique of injection, so I personally use a combination of two techniques. One uses a cannula, which looks like a needle, it's really long, but it's completely blunt at the top, as you can see. So it's extremely safe, especially in the lips where the, the lips are very, very vascular. So the cannula is my favorite technique because it's safer in the lips. So I normally what I go, I go with the cannula all across the lips just to build the actual volume of the lips. So all across here and here, I just go with the cannula. The needle, which, you all know how a needle looks. Tiny, yeah, it's very, very small. So the, the smaller the needle, 
the uh, less painful the, the procedure is, will just be used to, to fill the, um, the filtrum and the apex of the cupid bow, just to give a nice, a nice lift. I'm sorry, well done, excellent. Okay, just a gentle pressure, sorry. So at the end of the of the treatment, so I, I did a mix of candela and, uh, and needle. Look absolutely beautiful. The beauty also of the candela is that you basically don't have any, any bruising. So a um, bit of swelling, but no bruising because I did just a tiny entry point where the natural corner of the lips is. So absolutely fine. Uh, swelling is to be expected for about normally 72 hours after injection. The lips can feel slightly hard for the first week or so because the hyaluronic acid, which is slightly highly hydrophilic, will attract the water from your face. Then after 10 days, roughly, the, all, the, the molecules of the filler will release the water and then they get really nice and soft and part of your own lips. I normally do a very good and strong and firm massage before I release the patient, just making sure the, uh, the molecule of the aromatic acid are nice and soft so we prevent any lumps. Would you like to have a look? Yeah. Oh, I love them. Do you like them? Yeah. They look really nice. I think they're just yours, but like slightly. It's like enhanced the natural. Exactly. Oh, yeah, good. I'm so pleased you're happy. So natural. Good.